Here's a video clip that Sid Miller sent us when he was out striper fishing. Hey Gary and Julie, just thought I'd uh, send you a little short video. We're out on San Luis Reservoir today fishing. We've got uh, one nice striper. We're hoping to get some more. 33 and a half inch striper is nothing to complain about, so we're happy. I'll show you the fish. Hey Sid, thank you for that report. That was great. Nice fish. All right, now Sid's going to give us his favorite way of cooking that striper or any fish, I guess. So I'd like to record your recipe. Okay, for sure. fish. Uh, so how did you learn about this one? You know, years ago, um, I remember somebody brought us a dish uh, to some. Uh, picnic or something yeah uh -huh. uh, i think it was my parents house uh -huh. and uh, i i kept kind of trying to remember what it was but yeah. then it finally dawned on me that it was a lot simpler than i was trying to remember oh it, <laughs> it's really 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 easy but i like it's easy. really good i, I like, like easy. easy too yeah <laughs> yeah it, it's pretty simple so what kind of fish do you do this with anything well, or? Did it, he did it with halibut um, okay. I think any mild um, white fish would okay. look good. So I was looking for something to do with striper, and that's what oh. we did with. Oh yeah. And oh. since Doug has tried it with striper and loved it too, Kim. Oh Kim, really? Yeah. What do you do? Well, it's pretty simple. Um, you you got to get your striper first. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. That. So that's the hard part is getting <laughs> the striper, the especially part. a nice one like you that's had yesterday. The hardest <laughs> part about the whole thing. Exactly. But it's basically it's a casserole type dish um, uh -huh. so get a casserole I used a square one because I was just cooking for Arlene and I so we uh -huh. didn't as much uh, volume uh -huh. and then I cut the uh, striper up into pieces that were about twice bite size right and just so just, little little chunks just or little something. chunks yeah just little yeah. chunks so no skin just... it started like this oh, okay oh nice is that a striper <laughs> that's striper from yesterday uh, oh uh, nice so uh, then cut it up and put it in your pan uh, and fill fill the pan mostly, you know, uh, quite a bit. And then go you go get verde sauce. Salsa okay. Verde. I got some from Trader Joe's. Oh, that's good. I have some of that. That's this good. is supposed that's... to be. This is really good uh, verde sauce. It's pretty simple. It is um, tomatillos and jalapenos. And oh, that, nice. It, that's all it is. So I'm sure you could make your own verde sauce. But yeah. No, I, we have some of that from Trader Joe's, just like that. This is good yeah. stuff. Yeah, so, it is good. Take your verde sauce, mix whatever spices you would like on your fish. Think about what you'd like on the fish. So okay. I did salt and pepper, I did a little oregano and some other okay. another blend of spices. And I mix that into the verde sauce first. Okay. okay. Then pour that over your fish in the casserole dish. Okay. Pour enough green sauce in there so that it completely covers the fish. Oh, really? Okay, okay, over the whole, okay. In so the any oil, any oil down first, olive oil or I something? I put a little olive oil down on the pan first. I don't know that you really need it. I'm not okay. sure that it's necessary. Okay. I'm not, I don't think that fish with that uh, verde sauce is going to stick. But I did do a, a spray, a quick spray of olive oil. Okay. Um, so then the fish in, mix seasonings into your green sauce, green sauce in the pan, completely covering the fish. Just, just has to cover them. Okay. In the oven at 350. We did it for 30 minutes at 350. Oh, you I was thinking you're talking about on the skillet, on a, on a frying oh. pan. No, no, you're yeah. talking about a pan that goes in the oven. Yep. Ah, okay. And we, we did uh, 30 minutes at 350. We thought that we needed a little more time, so we kicked it up to 375 for another 10 minutes, uh -huh. and it was great. It, I'm not sure that we really needed more time, um, but ah. our team, is learning to like fish. She's not a great fish eater. And when uh -huh. we both went back for a second, she had more than I did. So, really? So that wow. tells you that she liked it anyway. So wow. I, I thought it was great. Well, Sid, that sounds wonderful. I'm gonna go out and cook some up right now. Thanks a lot. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Over and out. <laughs>